All right, so this thing has got some super chilling action going on here right now from this, uh, this chemical normal ice mix that we just did. And this is a characteristic we really only see usually when we're dealing with dry ice and stuff like that. Now we did just hit a minus 35 and below, we don't actually know. And uh, we're going to be changing that real soon on the next generation model here of the Bose-Einstein Fogger because we've, we've kind of tapped into something here that... Alright, the Bose-Einstein Fogger, fan on. We got a twin turbo double shot of NOS for this test. And we're going to see what kind of temperatures we can get. This is just normal ice and we threw some calcium chloride and some other great stuff into that supercharger. So let's see where this gets us. This is about as low a temperature you can get with normal ice, you guys, without using stuff that's not safe for being around us, humans. There's stuff that we don't want to be breathing and other stuff. Uh, but with the Bose-Einstein Fogger technology here, um, we're not breathing any of that stuff in and what we got in here really isn't that bad. I'm just waiting for that turbocharger to kick in here. Because I know we can do better than that. There she goes. Turbocharging. We're turbocharging. Those are some excited ice water molecules in there, my friends. Minus 30 with just ice. Whoa, are we going to do it? Can she do it? Oh, we're almost there. The thermometer maxes out at minus 35, you guys. We're dumping it as soon as we max out. It's official. The Bose-Einstein Fogger did minus 35C with just ice. Just ice. 